And Ross tells us about the morgue in Houston, Texas. A murder victim, a young woman originally from Korea, Yong Mi Torres, who came to this country as the wife of an American soldier, had two small children, and then one day disappeared from her home in Kansas. The police who investigated what happened to Yong Mi Torres say Koreans in Texas somehow got her to come to Houston, where she was put to work as a prostitute in one of the many houses of prostitution and bars in Houston, where police say Korean gangsters often force women to work against their will. She was killed in an effort to show the other girls working here in Houston what would happen if they didn't do what they were told. Detective S.L. Clappert, Houston Homicide. She was the sacrificial lamb. Young Mi Torres was buried in this small hillside cemetery in Kansas. Neighbors raised $140 for the burial, the small wooden cross, and the plastic roses. The story of the tragic death and life of this young woman from Korea says a lot about what is happening to many of the thousands of Korean women who come to the United States as the wives of American soldiers, but who quickly find themselves caught up in a kind of sex slave prostitution ring that hasn't been seen in this country in a long time. Incredibly, Junction City, Kansas, Yong Mi Torres' hometown, right next to the big army base Fort Riley, has become an important recruitment place for Korean gangsters in the prostitution business. Authorities in Kansas have identified this man and this woman as recruiters for the prostitution rings, who look for the Korean wives of American GIs stationed here, women who came to this country looking for better lives, but whose marriages have failed, or who get in debt, or who in many cases worked as prostitutes in Korea to begin with. This woman admitted to NBC News that she had been paid to send women from Junction City to Houston to work. It's a slave trade, in my opinion, any, any, any way you want to look at it. Junction City Police Chief Jerry Smith says the Korean wives of American GIs are being bought, sold, and traded by Korean gangsters. They fly into Junction City. They take a look at these women to determine whether or not they're pretty enough to work in their places of business and whether they're worth the money they're going to have to pay uh, for the recruitment fee. Across this country, the Korean-run rings now dominate the prostitution business. This was a triple murder at a Korean house of prostitution in New York City, where the Koreans have almost pushed the mafia out of the prostitution business. And authorities say it's the same story in dozens of cities, including Houston, where Yong Mi Torres was put to work. There are so-called Korean modeling studios and massage parlors in downtown Houston, near this trendy restaurant, and in one case, right across the street from a neighborhood baseball field where the high school team practices. This is the scene, night after night, in the neighborhoods of Houston, wide open houses of prostitution, with hundreds of women from Korea, virtual prisoners in the small rooms where they eat and sleep and have sex, often with as many as 10 men a night. How much do, does a man pay if he wants 70. To? $70? Yes. This woman sneaked out of the house of prostitution where she works to talk with us. She said she is ashamed, but that she is in debt to Korean gangsters and does not know what else to do. Do you have a family in Korea? Yes. Do they know that you're working as a prostitute? No. <laughs> what would happen if they found out? I feel, I guess I feel like dying. Houston police have been trying to shut down the Korean prostitution business here. But detectives say the women are afraid to testify against the bosses or to even try to escape. What is your name? Police say these raids don't shut down the prostitution rings. The women are often quickly released and then moved from one city to another, making it difficult for any one local police department to do much. And authorities in Houston say they have not been able to get any federal help from the FBI or immigration authorities in going after the well-organized Korean prostitution business. When we're raiding and closing down these houses of prostitution, we're finding women from Korea who got here because they married American servicemen. They went to County Florida, attorney Mike Driscoll Texas says much of the problem can be blamed on the American military. States, and from that point, they're divorced, and then they move into the the channel of, uh, of slavery, and that's what we're seeing. In our next report, the United States Army and the Korean prostitution business. Brian Ross, NBC News.